Here's an example of uh, question 15 in chapter 10. They've calculated a regression line here for some data and they're wondering, well, what's the the best prediction of what y is given a particular x value? Well, a lot's going to depend on what the correlation coefficient is. See, this correlation coefficient is really fairly strong. I mean, 77%. Uh, so, so we'll really need to use this equation to give us a good predict prediction of what y is. R will be helpful in calculating the value of that. For example, we'll say that uh, we're interested in an x value being, being 60 and a, and a y value being equal to the 2.937 times x uh, plus the 52.7. Uh, and so we could execute that and ask what the value of y is would be that amount. Okay, now the reason that that was a good idea is because the correlation co coefficient was fairly high. Uh, the closer to one it is, then the better this line is at, at estimating that value. Let's try some other examples and look at some situations. That's a very, very high correlation. So yeah, we'd, we'd want to do that. Uh, it's 90% uh, correlation. So we want to use the equation to predict what the y is. Um, let me get it, just get the problem answer wrong so that we can move on and look at some other examples. Um, here's a, a situation where it's not quite as strong. I think maybe it would be just as well to use that 59.7 uh, just take the average y value. Let's see, yeah, okay. See, it's a matter of looking at that correlation coefficient and and seeing how strong that is. That's a fairly weak uh, correlation coefficient. So I think that I'll just use that y y bar as my best estimate on the average. Um, sure enough. Uh, let's try another one. A very strong. I'm going to need to use that that uh, regression line to to do my prediction. So in this case, we were wanting an x value of 110. Our y would be a minus 1.809. Oops, sorry, that's not typing in. <laughs> one one point. Uh, 809 times the x value and minus the 48.081 and uh, execute that, find out what the y value is. It's going to be about that much. So the question is, how strong is the correlation? So should we use this or would it just be just as well to use uh, uh, the y bar? to estimate the average y value. Let's see. That was a strong correlation. Did I do something wrong? There's my error. Did you catch it? This was a negative uh, there. So let's execute code. Pasting that value in and and then, of course, that was right. Okay, so the question is, do we use this regression line to do our, our estimate, or do we use just y bar? And it depends on what the correlation coefficient is. If that correlation coefficient is strong, it's a negative correlation here, but it's 73%, almost 74%. So I, I want to use this line. If that uh, uh, correlation coefficient is small, then we'll probably then it would be better just to use the y bar. Okay, hope that helps.